It is Wednesday, people. I'm Diego, and this is the spot. The spot, of course, is the best place for all of your La Liga coverage and in-depth analysis of all of the international NBA players. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. Our YouTube viewers are, of course, our most important viewers, and that is why it is here and only here where you will find endless amounts of independent, uncensored, unfiltered media coverage. We've got a great show for you guys today. I can't wait to get started. So let's go. And so it ends. 284 days later. It all comes to an end. This is the end. My beautiful friend, the end. Madrid got a taste of its own medicine it seemed on Sunday night when Sevilla Madrid squared off at the beautiful Sanchez Pijuan and a late, deep at the stoppage time goal by Jovatis gave Sevilla the 2-1 victory. And with that, Madrid's impressive, record-breaking streak of 40 matches, no less, so came to an end. That streak would have ended last week Thursday when the two sides coincidentally uh, squared off in the Copa del Rey quarterfinal. However, on that day, it was a cheeky Panenka penalty kick from Sergio Ramos that equalized the match. And I want to highlight that moment. Because it was that exact moment, right after Sergio Ramos scored the, the penalty from the spot and decided to turn around and face those beaties and make this gesture right here, famously known as a Topo Gijo, challenging those beaties, the Sevilla Ultras. This moment that decided Sunday night's outcome. Because it was this fraction of a moment, which might seem insignificant to many, that sparked an enraged reaction, a belief and a faith, not necessarily amongst the Sevilla players, but much more importantly so amongst the Sevilla fans. Now, of course, we need to sit here and we need to discuss the brilliance of San Paoli's tactics. And we need to discuss the excellent month that Joe Batiste is having ever since arriving to, uh, to Sevilla. And we can even talk about Kevin Navas' embarrassing goalie mistakes. However, what I'm telling you is that all of those factors on Sunday night were irrelevant. Because it was a stadium lit with flares that decided the outcome. Don't ever underestimate the power of the people, ladies and gents. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And I know the people from Andalusia. My grandfather was from Andalusia. And there are people that live life with passion and they live life with eagerness. So when a certain Sergio Ramos decided to literally and definitively, because let's not forget, this is a complete and definite divorce between Sergio Ramos and the Sevilla fans when he literally turned his back on his own people. The people of Sevilla, they couldn't wait for Sunday's match to arrive and serve old Sergio up a nice cold plate of revenge. That's the power of the people. I want to show you guys one more clip to illustrate my point. This was on Sunday morning, before the match. Thousands and thousands of Sevilla fans from dusk to dawn, as you can see, supporting their team in a pre-game ritual, which is uncommonly seen for La Liga matches. Regular La Liga games, we don't see this. We see this for Champions League games or Copa del Rey matches, but not for regular La Liga matches. And this right here, right here was caused by Sergio Ramos. This and a little bit of karma, of course. Let, let's not forget that it was nobody else but Sergio Ramos that headed in the ball into his own net on the night. The power of the people. That was, that was the deciding factor on Sunday night. And with that, streak is over, and La Liga now has three league title contenders. Barca, Sevilla Football Club, Real Madrid. So from here, from this spot, we want to give a salute to Sergio Ramos and say thank you for making La Liga just a little more exciting again. And it's game on, fellas. 
Up next, Ricky Rubio in double-digit assists, 63 assists in the last five games, ladies and gents. I've been saying it for years. That's where he needs to be at if he wants to be an elite point guard. We're going to discuss that next. Stay tuned. Vamos, Ricky.